Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Camroom5. Previously we had started the carbonyl compounds and we said that carbonyl group is a carbon with two oxygen atoms. We talked about aldehydes and ketones. We talked slightly about their naming. We talked about the fact that aldehyde or ketones can't have hydrogen bonding between each other but they can do the hydrogen bonding with the nearby water molecules. Now moving on to the chemical properties, we'll talk about a more important thing which is the reaction and we're going to talk about the mechanism and it's called nucleophilic addition reaction. We're going to call nucleophilic addition reaction. You already know what's a nucleophile because we introduced this idea in halogenoalkanes. A nucleophile is electron rich, so it has electrons in it. That is why it's written as negative charge. So it's electron rich, donates lone pair because it is all about donation of lone pair. So these are two important points here. They're electron rich and they can donate lone pairs to obviously those who need that. When you talk about nucleophilic addition reaction, all carbonyls do that. So remember, all aldehydes and ketones do this reaction. We're going to talk about the mechanism of nucleophilic addition reaction starting with ethanol molecule. This is ethanol molecule. We start this reaction in the presence of potassium cyanide and HCN, which is obviously hydrogen cyanide. Actually, this reaction happens in the presence of sulfuric acid, but in the syllabus of the AS level and A level chemistry, they kept on mentioning hydrogen cyanide, so I'm using the same thing. It involves KCN in the beginning, so KCN is here in the beginning. I'm writing with different colors, so KCN is here in the beginning. We know KCN has a positive potassium and cyanide has a negative on it, while my aldehyde has oxygen and carbon which is my most important concern here. What happens actually is that the pi bond between carbon and oxygen is not really the strongest. We need to notice one thing that here let me let me write it this way. One of them is the sigma bond the other is a pi bond and you already noticed that oxygen is a highly electronegative atom oxygen is a highly electronegative atom so oxygen was already partially negative and carbon was already partial positive. Even before the reaction begins what happens is that oxygen tries to pull the electrons. Oxygen is trying to pull electrons from the pi bond. Oxygen is trying to pull the electrons from pi bond. So carbon becomes more and more partial positive and that is exactly when the reaction begins. So let me show you what happens here. Starting from the aldehyde which is this ethanol molecule, a cyanide should be present in the surrounding. A cyanide is right here and carbon has its lone pairs because we are concerned with that. The oxygen was already partial negative, the carbon was already partial positive, we know why. The cyanide carbon donates the lone pair to the carbonyl carbon because the carbonyl is becoming increasing, increasingly partial positive. At the same time, the oxygen pulls entire electron of the pi bond towards itself. So step one was step one was lone pair from the cyanide ion from the cyanide ion donated to partial positive carbon of carbonyl. So the carbonyl carbon accepts the lone pair. At the same time, let's write it like step 1.5, um, step 1.5, let's say. Oxygen atom 
of carbonyl oxygen atom of carbonyl withdraws pi bond pair towards itself towards itself so after the step one is completed the oxygen will become negative entirely the sigma bond is still here between the carbon and oxygen atom on the left you can see there is a methyl group which is a part of the chain so it remains the same way it's not changing itself on the right side there's a hydrogen remains the same way but at the bottom there's a cyanide attached to it so you can see a cyanide attached to the chain now you already understand that oxygen has become a nucleophile oxygen has negative charge on it oxygen realizes its mistake and it says now I want to donate lone pair so oxygen wants to accept some positive there is a positive in the surrounding which is none other than the hydrogen ion from the acidic environment so oxygen donates the lone pair to the hydrogen and accepts it to make a bond so the next step is oxygen makes a bond with the H let me write it with the blue color oxygen makes a bond with the H which is OH group it was attached to the carbon on the left side there was still CH3 on the right side still hydrogen atom and at the bottom my cyanide is here so what you see is a group which has a central carbon with OH on top methyl around on the left side you can see another like let's let's take other colors a cyanide at the bottom and obviously there's a hydrogen towards the other side so let's do it red color we call this hydroxy nitrile we call it hydroxy nitrile this is the hydroxy part which is the OH and this is the nitrile part you can see this carbon is a chiral carbon so by the end of the nucleophilic addition reaction you get a carbon you get a car chiral carbon which can do optical isomers by the way it can also do optical isomerism so revising nucleophilic addition reaction it involves the pi bond breakage between oxygen and carbon the cyanide donates the lone pair to the carbon oxygen becomes negative and then the oxygen negative atom accepts hydrogen positive ion from the surrounding you can notice that the one molecule or you can say species formed in the middle is our intermediate this is our intermediate if you want to follow the energy profile diagram of this reaction you can have progress of reaction on the x-axis and energy on the y-axis it would be a two peak reaction that looks like this the first peak is step one and the second peak is step number two the reaction begins with your aldehyde or you can say even ketone when the cyanide attacks so cyanide ion with the lone pair on carbon atom attacks on the carbon and at the same time the oxygen keeps both electrons for itself when this happens the intermediate is formed you know the intermediate has a negative on it the carbon the chain on one side the H on the other side and cyanide attached the intermediate what does what it does is the oxygen go, donates the lone pairs to a nearby H plus and then you get the final hydroxy nitrile in a hydroxy nitrile it is always a chiral carbon which has four groups on the same carbon so in today's video we talked about the nucleophilic addition reaction and at the end of it we also talked about the energy profile diagram in the next video we'll talk more about aldehydes and ketones stay tuned guys thanks